Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a quick building video. Recently I decided to flatten my island, so I am starting the process of beginning to decorate and build new areas on my island again. Here's my map. As you can see, I've been working on a couple of things, like my entrance, and I also started a fishing area on the left side of my map. I'll show you guys what I've done with my entrance so far, even though it's not fully done. In this video, I also wanted to decorate that fishing area that I began just to show you guys my process, what I do. Um, it is a small area, but I think it was really fun to film nonetheless. So here's my entrance so far. I haven't completed it, so I still have a couple of things to do around this area. But on the left side of my entrance, I have some terraforming that I've done. I have a couple of decorations, mostly wood decorations, just to make it look more natural. And then I added a few shrubs and trees. On the right side of my entrance, I've done some waterscaping. So I've added a waterfall on the terraforming and then this little sort of jumping area on top of some water. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to stay here permanently or if I'm going to do something different, but for the meanwhile I thought that was kind of cute. And then right here is an overview of my entire entrance. I do have some more decorations towards the back. Um, I have some art and a cute little picnic area. Around the back of my entrance, I do have this path leading around it that leads back to this side. Um, again, I don't know if I'm going to keep this, but I do want my island to seem like it has some heavy traffic towards the front, so I do want to have those paths near my entrance. So over on the left side of my island is this fishing spot that I started. Um, I don't necessarily like the fact that I have two south river mounts, so I decided to close off the entrance of that and make a waterfall. Um, but I wanted to make it look more natural, so I did do some terraforming around it, and this is what I've done so far. So my vision for this area is to have a table where my villagers can sit um, and I also want to make it look a little bit old. Not abandoned, but I do want it to look a little bit rustic, so hopefully I can achieve that look. Um, and it is going to be divided into two spots, so the more hangout area is going to be on this side and then on the right side I'm planning on doing a more fishing focused decorative area. So I wanted to show my custom designs. I do have a version of the path and the majority of my custom designs are ground decorations but I use those to make my island feel more natural and just look more natural. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use these custom designs to place on my cliffs to make it look a little bit more natural like I said and for my trees I usually use this specific custom design um, just to make it look like the leaves are falling off. I love this design and of course I will link all the custom designs that I use in the description. And here I'm just adding a couple of decorations to the cliffs. I added some oil lamps and a little pot. And up there I also went ahead and added a shrub. Yes. 
I'm going to do the same thing on the ground near the actual water. And then after this, I'm gonna go ahead and go through my inventory in my house to find some things that I wanna put out. Um, like I said, I did fought in my island, so I have a huge inventory of stuff that I've been saving that I use on my old island. Um, so yeah, I'm basically just gonna go through and pick stuff out that I'd like to see in the area. And here I'm just going through and favoriting the log dining table so that I can craft it. And I'm just going to craft that real fast and then grab some things out of my inventory as decorations to go on top of the table. So now I'm going to go ahead and start decorating the area. Um, <laughs> I did have a lot of trouble setting down this log bench in this tight spot. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I was struggling for a good while, but I decided not to put that there in the end um, because right here you can see that I'm stuck. So I'm also hidden by that tree, which isn't good for photos. So what I decided to do is just rotate the entire thing and just have the bench on this side. Next, I'm going to go ahead and set down all my decorations on the table and in the surrounding areas. I did start to second guess the log bench and I set down a stool and a stone stool to kind of play around but I did end up liking it but it's important to go ahead and go through the things that you have in your inventory and just play around with things to see what you like best. So now I'm moving on to the right side of the fishing spot. Really fast, I just want to divide the land from the beach. So I am planting a shrub and then I'm going to place a part of country fencing down. Now I'm just setting down the path to lay down the dirt area for some of the furniture that I want to set down. I want to make it look like this is an area that people come to fish at often. So I want to make it look a little bit cozy and natural.
so this is basically the extent of all of the furniture that I'm gonna put here. I think it looks really cute and I'm just gonna go ahead and finish laying down all of the puff. It took a little while because it was a little bit finicky to work with. This is my first time working with any variation of the puff, so it did take a little bit, but I think it was worth it because I think it looks great. I didn't want this area behind the cliff to look empty, so I decided to take advantage of that natural curve and plant a shrub there. I'm also going to go ahead and plant a flower since I just happen to have it on me, um, but I don't plan on making this an overly flowery area. I did want to add some sort of item here, so I had a destination signpost on me. Um, I think the white looked nice, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted, so I will be taking it to my house and customizing it. And this was so funny, for the life of me, I could not decide what color variation I wanted. And this is in three times speed, so it just shows how long it took me to make this decision. But I went with the old version, um, and I think it's going to look great. So on the fishing area, I did want to make it its own little enclosed area just to block it off from any other area that I want to make in the future beside this. I do plan on moving the campsite over so I think it would be a good divider from the campsite area and the fishing area. So this is basically the completed fishing area. It is a small area, but I like it that way since I don't dedicate a lot of time to fishing besides fishing tournaments. Um, but yeah, if you guys liked this video, I had a great time recording myself building and decorating. So let me know if you want to see more of that. But until next time, thank you so much for watching.